and welcome to the channel today we will be replacing the alternator in this 2006 ford f-150 with the 5.4 v8 engine as you can see we have a brand new alternator ready for the truck um, so before we do that we're going to have to take off this air intake and the plastic pieces that go along with it because as you can see the alternator is just right there before you start this job make sure you disconnect the battery we have it completely taken off because the alternator stopped working and it started discharging the battery because the alternator was no longer producing a charge and so it just depleted the battery so we just took it out because it's completely dead at this point so always have it disconnected before st starting to do this job so in order to take off this little plastic thing it's just a little number 10 millimeter bolt that's holding it down and we're going to have to take off this box so you're going to need a deep socket number 10 in order to take off those four bolts that you see right there uh, so something deep will help you to do this job it'll make it a lot easier if not a wrench is also possible you might as well take off the air box or the air filter and replace it if you see necessary or if you see fit so don't forget to disconnect your sensors push down we'll pull this out push this down and then you should be able to wiggle it off and then this little sensor over here it wasn't that difficult either that was just clamped on there you just pull down on this tab like so you know that's on pull down pull away and that's off okay so i was able to take out this bolt out uh thankfully because it still had uh a tread to hold on to but in my case it's rusty on the other one so i have a nowhere to grip on it so i'll probably use vice grips some order, other uh, way to get it out but just do be careful and in my situation i literally had nothing left so it's all thanks to the rust so my vice grip idea did work i mean it's loose now if you can notice it it spins now see it rotates so we we'll get it loose that way fortunately i was able to get the other two off so you just lift up this air box there's literally nothing else it's just it's just stuffed on there on top of the throttle um just be careful with this little connector piece here this was this was holding my little cable here so it was just holding it in place but i'm just letting you know there's just like a little holder tab so now that you get the box out of the way you can see you have more room to work on the alternator you have the connecting piece back here and um yeah that's why we have to remove it and now we can see all the other things that are holding down the alternator As you can see we have four bolts up here bolt one two three and then four that you're gonna take off, they're all number 10. This is also a number 10 to take it off from the alternator and then there's a connector down there. Now, before we continue and do any of this, let's remove our belt, serpentine belt. You're gonna use a 3 8 uh, wrench or anything to break the tension and then be able to slide off this belt. You're gonna go that way, clock clockwise to loosen it down. That way you'll be able to loosen the tension. Just be careful to not forget how your your belt is lined. Um, I just simply, once I got it loose, I just put it down. Your Ford should have a reference point. Mine is this because we have air conditioning. Um, if you don't have it, well, here you go. Okay, once you take off the four bolts off this bracket that holds it on, should be able to come off. At the same time, this wire that connects to the alternator, this little plastic piece that's right there, or connects to this little hole there. So just use a set of pliers to uh, pull, pop it out. Once you get it out, be careful. That's just a little nut that goes on there. So don't, don't lose it. You're gonna need it for the new one. And well, about that connection down there, if you can get it out, good. If not, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll get it out as we get this alternator out. Now we have the two bolts that we have to take care of. Just loosen them. You don't have to take them out all the way. Um, you should just be able to loosen them and then this thing should be able to just slide out from there. And yes, it is another 10 millimeter, so you're gonna need it. Once you get those two bolts loose, the alternator should just be able to move. We have the alternator out now. Let's just disconnect that one cable in the back and let's start installing the new one. Always make sure you compare your alternator and not just that, any car parts that you're purchasing after you remove them just to ensure that you have the correct one it's happened to me before not with an alternator but with a starter motor where it wasn't the correct size just because the angle was slightly off it wouldn't fit in the car
and well there you have it guys that's how you change the alternator in a 2006 ford f-150 with the 5.4 liter v8 i hope you enjoyed the video leave us a comment don't forget to browse the channel and as always i look forward to seeing you next video